Good morning. It's a quad day, and J. Cole's gonna yell at me. So let's get ready. Jolly Green Giant. Just kidding. I don't wear green often enough, but we're giving it a shot. We got the OG raw with the big R on the back. The short shorts. Alpha Elite beanie. And then new logo. Raw hoodie. Let's go squat. You called us. Um laptop anyway welcome 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 we're back we are back the only thing different from this warm-up versus the last warm-up we're gonna kick it right off is we put blood into these quads a lot two sets of eight on single set of eight together going pretty heavy and the and then i always do the Good girl, bad girl, um, like that I've shown in the previous video, so I'm just I'm not gonna open up my legs for you guys for a second time. Uh but just focusing on mobility. The whole the whole essence of all this stuff when it comes to legs, especially and I said in the last video, and if you didn't watch the last video, I'm gonna say it in this video, is gain that mobility. And you're gonna see in a few seconds, right after the hamstring curls, and hamstring curls are still uh hamstrings are still a little warmer from three days ago, again, because it's not a lot that we do. But there's a lot of mental connections. Again, I have the advantage when it comes to legs. My connection is just a little higher. Some of you have that advantage. Some of you don't. Play to your cards. Try to strengthen your weaknesses and take it as a whole. But you're going to see when I go and do the squat, I take an empty-ass bar with no belt, no sleeves. Shoes are still on because I squat shoeless. And I sit at the bottom. I often bounce. I... Lay, I stay down there a little bit, and if at the bottom I feel something weird, my glutes tight, my this is that, and then I, I literally, whatever's tight, whether it be a quad, hamstring, whatever, I go back, I'll literally leave my back there, go back to said movement, get more blood into the muscle, because if I can't, on an empty bar, drop my ass, and again, focus on mobility, guys, like, the, the essence of the squat is, at least in my eyes, if I can do this, drop my ass to the floor on, a, on an unloaded bar, as soon as now I go to load two, three, four, five plates, whatever it may be, I don't now it's it's like a mind game because now I don't have to drop that low. I can quite literally just lessen the load, theoretically speaking, in terms of the travel. And from ass to grass to parallel, I'm literally not traveling that much more. So that like mental gain, again, it's a mental gain that I within the aspect of it it's just like I don't have to travel nearly as far down but I'm still traveling far enough because I've set the standard so high or low in that sense in terms of like dropping my ass literally to the floor from the open bar to now when I'm stacking three four or five plates I don't have to go that low so it's kind of like the essence of shooting for the stars and landing on the moon so you just fall shy of it but it's like it's still good enough I'm not looking to squat five plates onto the fucking floor, so whatever. Um, the sets were 405. It was four sets. I forgot to record one set. Um, I think there's three here. And then we moved on to a constant tension leg press for two sets of 20, which are not fun at all, but um, definitely just... It, the biggest thing is I don't know why when it comes to legs, we fall shy of full range of motion. Um, I was even giving insight to Greg the other day on pulling yourself into like the leg extensions and the hamstring curls, like really sucking yourself into that seat and just really like locking in and trying not, because often where we fall shy of the machine work is because it acts as a, it handicaps us as an active stabilizer. We often are just, we perform it a little lazy and we feel like we don't need to be as tight throughout the movement. And we're like, shit, you know, like I can be a little more lazier because the machine is already assisted. But approaching compounds, I mean, approaching accessories the same way I'm approaching compounds has been euphoric. It, it's quite literally evolved. 
Um, as you're seeing here, my legs, I've just, I've always had that mental connection to my legs. So I feel like it's my due diligence to kind of give you guys insight on that, but it works across the board from chat. I mean, I, I started approaching my chest the same way and, you know, in the following videos, uh, or so on and so forth when it comes to the back days and the chest days, I'm going to label that and like my little tips and tricks is that as well. But for, yeah, for leg extension, hamstring curls, like this is what forms the, the leg, the quad, the hamstring, the glute. It's not like the, the squat can only do so much. It gives me the mass, but then even dumbing it down. And I mean, you're seeing me now in the room doing, this is sissy squat, body weight lunges to failure. We went from squatting god knows how i mean it was 405 for sets in this video to i can't even do this at the end of the workout i can't even do more than 10 ish steps per foot um just giving my body a rest giving the legs a rest they put a lot of load on them i'm not maxing out on the leg press again when it comes to leg press and leg extensions and accessories my best advice is treat them accordingly so if you know you're squatting heavy don't put on six, seven plates, but you know, if you know, if you're doing squats for volumes like that, you know, like if you're doing 70% or 60% and stuff like that, cause there's day, my days aren't always high. If I know they're low to that, you know, to that level of like, I'm not really getting that much of a fatigue out of the compound. Then yeah, then I'm going to slam accessories. That whole RPE eight thing that I, I preach and love about is it's, it's really in relativeness to how well the workout moves, how well you feel, et cetera, et cetera. I hope you like the voiceover. Let's get back to the video. This is a new setting. Gonna play with it. Day is done. It is really a lot later from when I went to the gym. We went, me and Andy went to go check out another gym. Come in February. I think we're gonna spice the content up. Um, gonna use the traction. Gonna use the momentum to leverage this new place um opportunities on a lot of different fronts but that is to come in another vlog and stuff like that just needed to tell you guys and he left this fucking he left this cock here nope super excited um and then we needed to stop everything today and help um a friend um going through a mental block uh way more important than anything i love man i really love this stuff i'm so excited i was even talking to paulo about this stuff it's um it's very important guys it's very very important what i'm trying to do is like is way beyond the gym and i'm, I'm like super excited i'm setting up right now to do the voiceover on the stuff in the gym because it was just a very it was a mental battle for me alone and uh i just can't help but think i have a big responsibility to my clients, my friends, my family to hold that integrity extremely high on a lot of different occasions, not just the gym. And uh, it starts with the gym because in terms of physical and mental attributes that you can gain from just by action against adversity, the only solution is action, just do. So I'm very excited. I'm going to sit down now and do the voiceover and run over the podcast because I did do a solo one and it was right on topic with uh, the latest podcast that's going to come out is right on topic with what we were talking to a friend about today. It's um, being a proper friend, being a good friend, being the friend we have to be, not the one we want to be, um, holding the integrity again and the accountability high and just wanting more. Um, a lot of tough love. Not like hate, not this, not that, but wanting more, growing more. It's really, it's it's all growing pains and I love it. So not going to make this one too long, but to kind of bring it full circle and leave the video on a very positive note, because um, that's just, it's, it's how we're moving in 2023. I'm not talking corny. I'm talking like real life shit. It's really, uh, when did caring become, not caring became cool. And I, I don't think that's, you know. It's a it's a it's a weird uh, it's a weird pendulum that we're weighing on, but I'm happy you guys are liking the series so far. I'm gonna see how to approach my two different push days and my traditional pull day. Pull days are a little interesting, but definitely the two different push days because I'm making a lot of progress on the bench and I'm super proud of that as myself. So pat on the back because 
we are launching around 225 right now. Like it's my job. I don't have a job. Be sure to smash the like button. Share this if you want. Drop a comment on what you want to see differently or what I could improve on. Or DM me. But at the very minimum, like the video. It helps with the algorithms. And uh, as always, Cody Ani on everything to support your boy. And we will catch you guys in the next one.